Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. I'm Chris. Today we have a new co-host. <laughs> and we're gonna I'm gonna let Chris introduce himself to y'all. He can tell you a little bit about his journey. I have some questions for him too. Uh, this particular whiskey, after Chris is done chatting with you, I'll tell you what we're doing. Well, like I said, my name's Chris. Uh, Fairly new to bourbon, been uh, drinking it since about 2020, been listening to Joe talk about it for a lot longer, and uh, I don't know, just kind of a newbie into it, but really enjoy it, have a great time with it. There you go. Um, why would my watch go off? That's my brother. <laughs> You're a popular guy. Sorry, bro. I'll call you back. <laughs> um, Today what we're doing is Josh and I tried to do a blind, this particular blind, a while back, and we screwed up the video, and it was on slow-mo, so the entire video was slow-mo. That would be kind of entertaining it to watch, was. actually. I really hope that it's not set up that way right now. I'm Now I'm paranoid. <laughs> um, this particular blind is Chris, I went off uh, camera, and Chris poured for me, and I poured for him, so we don't know what it is. The two products are... Buffalo Trace products. Buffalo Trace, as you all know, is their standard release coming in at 28 bucks a fifth. It's 91 proof, if I remember correctly, 45 ABV, I think. So it's in that ballpark. Uh, the one sitting next to this is Benchmark Single Barrel coming in at 95 proof. Same mash bill as Buffalo Trace regular label. This is a quiet sleeper. It's a bottom shelf whiskey. There's several iterations of it. There's the single barrel. There's bottle and bond. There's the standard release. All are very reasonable. This one's coming in at $22 or $23, something like that. The, and it is by far an amazing product. It is a single barrel and it's a sleeper. So don't let anybody know about it. It's uh, readily available, and the last, this is my third bottle I've had of this, and so far, every single one has been amazing. We're gonna see if we can pick which one's Buffalo Trace and which one is Benchmark. Mostly, we're just gonna do a basic tasting because uh, Chris drinks Buffalo Trace quite a bit, yeah. don't you? Mm -hmm. So he kind of knows that flavor profile. Um, and he enjoys it. So it's kind of, there's some familiarities, but just to taste them side by side blind and get a good uh, idea of which one you like. We're going to like both of them, but there might be one that stands out. Which one is it? Single barrel or the regular release? Yeah. So um, we'll go in for it. Uh, I was going to ask you before we get too far, do you have a favorite whiskey? Oh, man. Uh, probably one of my favorites right now is uh, Four Roses Small Batch Select. You're, yep, that's that, a good one. Man, that one is amazing. Yeah. It, uh, I have actually found it in Tennessee. I had to go to a training back there. Oh. And Josh and I were back there at the same time. Yeah. And so, you know, when you're with Josh, you got to go do a whiskey hunt. That's and true. So we drove all across the Nashville area. Uh, the one I was really looking for was the E.H. Taylor, which I'm happy to oh, say I found. Nice. Uh, the single barrel, if I Ooh, remember correctly. That's a winner. Uh, paid a little more than uh, what we would pay in <laughs> Idaho if you're lucky enough to find it. Correct. Uh, but uh, Josh told me, he goes, oh, if you like Four Roses, you really got to try this right. one. And, oh, man, I packaged that sucker up, brought it home, nice. and was like, oh, it was amazing. It Absolutely good, love it. Four Roses. They make good products, yeah. and some of their... Unique iterations are just mm -hmm. off the hook. Yeah. Um, shall we go in for a nose? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to try number one. We just, I'll same way it. as we always go, one and two. I have no idea which one's which. I know which ones I poured him. <laughs> um, color wise, I see colors, a little difference. Yeah. Nice nose, vanilla. Typical Buffalo Trace mash bill. It's a rye mash bill, bill so you got corn. It's going to be over 51% corn, obviously. Buffalo Trace uses about 70 to 73% corn and then rye and barley. So it is a rye mash bill, not a weeded. There's that 
nice earthy kind of vanilla. What are you getting, buddy? I'm actually getting a little bit of a caramel. Oh, on that nose. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I, I do. Uh, I do get a hint of the uh, vanilla, but yeah, I'm probably getting more of the caramel out of that one. But huh. yeah, my nose is not quite as refined. It's bigger, but it's not quite <laughs> as refined. So mine has been weak since <laughs> COVID. Um, there's a little trick, and you've probably seen us do it. If you can smell your skin, it resets your nose. So then you can go back to another oh. uh, thing, and it, it neutralizes your palate. Kind of like coffee beans mm -hmm. in a perfume shop. Yeah. Uh, your skin does You're that. like a uh, bourbon sommelier. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. That is a night and day difference in the nose. There's that vanilla. Ooh. Boy. I think on the nose, I already feel like I know which one's which. I think I do, too. And I'm probably completely wrong. <laughs> boy, oh boy. That's a pretty good color. Comparable in color. Uh, this one's a little darker. Boy, that nose is... That nose is just sweet. Almost creme brulee. Ooh. Creme brulee-ish on that nose. I wonder if so you and I have the two, exact same one. I wonder if we uh, set them up the exact same way. <laughs> we could have. I know when Josh and I did this review before I screwed up the video, um, we when we did the reveal at the end, we determined we did pour exactly the same ones. <laughs> um, oh man. Yep. Okay. So we should we go in for a taste? Do you have yeah. which one would you like to try first? I say let's do one first. I agree. Let's do that. So good nose. We'll give it a little try. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. It's always good to take a first little sip, kind of cleanse the palate, get it acclimated to some whiskey. You come in for a second sip, give it that good Kentucky chew a little bit and let it swallow. I think I know which one this is. That's tasty. That's a decent bourbon. That's a nice solid bourbon, 90s proof. Um, that's clean, I'd sip that all day long. Uh, I know I like both of them, obviously. I couldn't even tell you how many bottles. Actually, I can. I count, I save all my stoppers from a year. Oh, okay. So, last year, 2022, before I threw out my stoppers, I had, don't judge, <laughs> I had nine of these stoppers. So, I drank nine, nice. nine Buffalo Traces in a year. Hey. And, to be fair, Josh is over a lot, so we drink whiskey <laughs> together, and I make a lot of cocktails. Buffalo Trace is awesome in a uh, whiskey sour. Oh, yeah. yeah that's and that's it. what my missus made me when I came home from work one day. She made me a whiskey sour with Buffalo Trace. Wouldn't you know it? I've never made a sour out of no. Buffalo Trace before. I always use Rittenhouse Rye Makers Wild Turkey 101 because they stand up well yeah. with the bitters and everything. But that Buffalo Trace is a great bourbon. Wild Turkey 101 is one of my favorite mixers. I, oh. I love that as a mixer because it cuts right through. It does. Yeah. It's such a great product. And it's undervalued. People, they, they think it's that old whiskey everybody got drunk to when they're kids. <laughs> so they're like, I'm not drinking that. It's People amazing. Drink underage. Uh, that's what I hear. <laughs> uh, let's go in for number two and see what we got. Oh, there's that nose that I, I like. It's a different nose. There's more vanilla and sweet confectionery. Creme brulee is what Pete keeps popping up. Yeah, concentration. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty positive. I know what this one is. Watch Let's me be, just be completely wrong. <laughs> it, it, you just never know what's going to happen. Um, so, another question. What is okay. your favorite cocktail? Oh, man. So, we went to Orlando last year, and we okay. went to this Italian restaurant called Maggiano's. And uh, they had a cocktail called a Blackberry Bourbon Smash. It was made with... A picture. Yeah, made. Knob Creek Nine Year is Ooh. what's used in it. And I'll tell you, a bit of a fruity drink, but it is delicious wow uh beyond that i love whiskey sours right. and any iteration of a old-fashioned which i'd love to use uh rise in perfect rise in an old-fashioned 
fantastic. They, they are a great, that is a great whiskey to use. But the Blackberry know. Bourbon Smash has kind of been the go-to lately. Have you been making them? At, can you make them at home now? Oh, yeah. Or? The wife found a cheat recipe. So, yeah, she found one of those copycat recipes I online. I have to get that Oh, I'll get it to you, bro. Okay. That's, that's fantastic. So I'm always looking for a new cocktail. Yeah. Like I said, it's a little bit fruity. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I feel pretty confident. I I like that. That's, um, there's a little bit of heat in the front for me on this yes. one. Because my number two could be different than yeah. yours. No, I'm with you. The heat is uh, definitely more up in the front than in the back. Hmm. There's that creme brulee and that sweet vanilla note at the front, right on the tip of the tongue. Um, I didn't even make notes. I just got them in my head here, but I, uh, I, do you have a favorite between one and two? Which one do you like the most? I'm going to have to say one. I liked one uh, better than two. Okay, I thought one, so, you are a popular fellow yeah. today. Cleveland, Ohio. I meant to turn my watch off. There Maybe we go. that's your so, uh, fan club calling. Maybe. Who knows? There's at least one person out there that likes me somewhere. <laughs> um, so you like number two is your fave. No, number one fave. Number one. Yeah, number one oh, fave. Oh, number one. Yeah. Okay. And mine is number... T mine's number two. I like the nose. Hold on. We're going to... I say I know. I almost got to... Uh... Yeah. I'm with you. I got to rate it. Oh, money. That nose is unmistakable. I think I even know which one that is. Oh, yeah, that's money. Mm hmm. Yeah. Go with your gut. Always go with your gut. I, uh,. I feel pretty confident. So my fav my favorite has been between one and two. Number two for me was my favorite. It had a little bit more superior nose, a little more vanilla, a little more creme brulee-ish. Uh, number one was had some standard vanilla, a little bit of char. Um, nothing crazy, just a decent bourbon. Um, but number two. And your favorite was number one. My favorite was number one. Uh, number two was not bad at all. I kind of like the heat more at the back than in okay. the front. Um, I liked the flavor notes. I thought it had a better flavor profile. Hmm. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, flavor on it, which is surprising because number two is the one I finished and I haven't finished number I one yet. That. You're savoring. I, that's exactly what it is. Okay. Would you like to know which one it is? Yeah, actually I would. The number one is benchmark. I the thought benchmark that's what, single barrel. Yep, that's what I thought because <laughs> I knew that was Buffalo Trace when I was going through it. Because Buffalo Trace doesn't normally have uh, the heat quite as much right. in the back, and the it's a lower did. proof than benchmark. Benchmark's ninety five, and Buffalo Trace I think is ninety one, something like that. Maybe ninety two. Yeah, I uh, I will definitely go out and buy a bottle of that. They, that was actually really good. It. It's on the bottom shelf, and when I got this bottle a couple days ago it was covered in dust really so nobody's buying it perfect that is perfect <laughs> um cool all right all right brother so which you said number uh, two I, was your favorite two was my favorite and i i feel like the nose told me right out of the shoot that it was the single barrel i feel like that because it had that that same sweetness that i detected before and this one felt more like Buffalo Trace, so I'm I'm thinking it's the single barrel. And you're absolutely right. I got it right the first time we did this video <laughs> too, so that makes me feel really good because this is a brand new bottle. Mm -hmm. I finished the other bottle, and that means consistency is still the same because single barrels, as y'all know, can be different. You can have one that's a honey barrel, and when it's gone, it's gone. I've seen that a lot in Blanton's, mm -hmm. Elmer T. Lee's. Um, 
this one that's really good so i just bought this a couple days ago so if you go into the liquor store yeah. that you tend to shop at mm -hmm. same one we all shop at the same liquor store yeah. um it's bottom shelf that's it's good stuff dust. man it's amazing i i am pleasantly surprised there's right. no other way to put it i am right. very pleasantly surprised right it's a, it's a sleeper. Well, like you talked about, like Buffalo Trace products are typically kind of my go-tos. I like the right. Eagle Rares. I like Buffalo Trace. Um, I love Blanton's. Mm -hmm. uh, all of those different things. And, man, that one's that's good. That's yeah, legit. for the price. And yeah. I think it's 23 It's under $24 or right at $24 for a single barrel, mind you, mm -hmm. of bourbon that you're buying. Normally, Blanton's is 60 Heck, yep. uh, Henry McKenna, it's a single barrel. 10-year-old, it's 60 now. Yep. Elmer T. Lee, it's 60. These are all suggested retail, by the way. Uh, secondary prices are going to be even higher. Um, I got that. That's that's pretty amazing. Yeah. You're going to need a little more whiskey and I, thing for our sign-off there, buddy. <laughs> that's a fair point, bro. So Let's throw some benchmark in there. That's good there stuff, man. I'll pour it. Oh, you're a classy fella. I am. <laughs> Don't mind the shakes. No. If you drink a little more, the shakes will go away. They do. That's proven scientific fact. <laughs> um, fact let's see. How long you been on the whiskey? You told everybody that since 2020. You know, everybody had to find a uh, COVID hobby. That was mine. I drink <laughs> bourbon and I watch UFC fights, man. That's that's how it got started. Correct. So thanks, Dana White. <laughs> <laughs> and he watches Durbin's bourbon. Oh, that's fair point. Got it. Got to get a plug for the show. Um, generally drink. How, how do you generally drink your whiskeys? Oh, if you're going to sit down at home and just enjoy a whiskey, I'm going to drink Buffalo Trace here. How do you normally just... You know, uh, the wife, she is more the uh, sipping. She will bust out the straight sipping. Uh, she loves to drink like the Blantons. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, she's the wife. Just neat. No oh, yeah, ice, she no loves water, the neat, nothing. man. Yeah. Huh. Um, sometimes she'll throw ice in there if we got mm -hmm. something that's a little bit hotter, but, uh, me, I, I could go either way. I love the, uh, neat. Um, usually I'll bust out like a little glass like this mm -hmm. and pork is obviously I'm a hoarder and I don't want to get rid of my bottles. So I like to sip on it for a while. There you go. Uh, but I do love, uh, to make a few cocktails. Like I said, I love old fashions. Old fashions are probably my favorite cocktail and then that blackberry bourbon smash is really good i'm gonna try that yeah if you, if you have a maggiano's anywhere near you highly recommend and get that blackberry bourbon smash they use the uh, knob creek rye nine year uh, wow really good that's a tip for you all out there because yeah. you're all over the world that follow us so if you're back there yeah good chris, stuff chris is giving you some good tips right now that's some did, good legit italian food too it was really good nice did now did you ever buy that book tasting whiskey i have not had the tasting whiskey okay. so i read pappy land which i really loved right. and then i watched that uh show neat uh, ah, which was perfect. fantastic uh but no i have not had that i'd be more I than happy to read it though amazon it, i talk about it on another video there's the book right there tasting whiskey by lou bryson you gotta buy it because right, you're enough. on this journey yeah it's like twenty dollars for the book and yeah. it will lead you down that rabbit hole of yeah. drinking whiskey so bear in mind he'll probably send me the same text when he buys the book <laughs> that josh did with some explicitive profanity because you start wanting to try all kinds scotch irish because yeah. It is such a, there's such a beautiful world of whiskey out there yeah. and there's so much out there your entire life. You could spend drinking it yeah. and, and try different ones and experience the difference, uh, the nuances all across the globe. So it's well, amazing. You know, it's good having good friends who actually have great bourbon collections because Joe and Josh, man, they invite me over to their places all the time to try different things that I haven't been lucky enough to find. And that's yeah, amazing. Your uh, friends allow you to have some really good bourbon. That's those are damn good friends. Find those and keep them. True, <clears throat> because that's what whiskey's all about: is friendship and just enjoying it and drinking it. Uh, let's see. I think I hit all my questions for you. Uh, let's see. I did. Look at you. You're like a regular uh, interviewer here. I, I I didn't do as good a job when I had the other Chris on and my wife, who is the smarter of the two of us, <laughs> said you should really work at questions and bringing them into the channel instead of just flapping your gums because i don't know if y'all know it i'm a chatty kathy so uh i'm trying to do better 
Doing a good job, Joey. Right. Doing a good job. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> um, I got nothing else. Remember to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. Uh, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. It just helps our channel grow. We're over 4,000 subscribers and growing now. Nice. Um, we appreciate everybody out there um, that does such amazing things for us and sends us gifts and all of that. It, you all are just part of the community and part of our family, and we feel like you're having a drink with us, and I hope that you are. Um, I got nothing else to add to this one, do you? No, bro. I'm, uh, I'm just a pretty face, that's all. There you go. That sounds kind of like Josh. Um, I guess we'll wrap this one up. We hope you all have enjoyed this show. And as always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons any, any way, way you, you like. like it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers buddy.